Happy Thursday, everybody. Welcome back. It is time for another Pounds for Purrs workout, and today was the deadlift focus. I wasn't sure if I was going to lift or not. I was pretty sure I was going to, but I did have the thought about taking another day off and then just lifting tomorrow. And I am doing power cleans with a little bit heavier weight. So I'm going 135, 155, 175. And honestly, it took a little bit to get my timing for power cleans today. I did feel a little bit off. And part of that is just because I taught a really great martial arts lesson to one of my students earlier. And I forget how much that can take out of me. So I like to do the forms and the techniques with my students. And uh, we went over a lot of forms today, so I wanted to make sure that he understood all the movements. He could see me as an example. And when I do that, I tend to forget how much I'm putting into it as a teacher. So power cleans were a bit off. You could tell from the timing, the front rack position, the catch position. It was just a little bit off, but I did increase the weight, which is what I'm going to do from here on out as I keep increasing the weight for the deadlift. So, it's okay. It wasn't absolutely horrendous, but it wasn't my best, that's all. Then, I did lock in for deadlifts. So, I thought, uh-oh, is this going to be a, a sign of things to come? And thankfully, it ended up being a perfectly fine deadlift day. These sets felt pretty nice. 340 is feeling pretty easy, and it should. 340 should feel easy. And so, even for sets of 5, 90 seconds of rest in between sets... Still feeling pretty easy. Um, it's, not, it's not something that I should be worried about yet. Usually when I get upwards of like 355, 365, that's when the sets will start to get a little bit challenging. But as I continue to improve my overall conditioning, that shouldn't be a problem. And usually that's where I cut it with this program. But who knows, I might extend it, drop some volume, just to keep that conditioning going before I switch to more of a, either a powerlifting program or who knows, maybe I'll go back to an Olympic program. Uh, I'm leaning towards strength just because I got cut short before the lockdown. And so I kind of have that itch to see where I would have gotten had we not t have been forced to take a break. But... I'm leaving that all up in the air. I'm definitely going to keep doing this for another month. So we'll see after that. And when it came to accessories, I did go with the Penlay Row. And I wasn't sure how much I was going to push it. I did have a feeling that I was going to do a 3x5. And I wanted to get at least 225. So I did a warm-up set with 185, warm-up set of 5. And then I did a warm -up, another warm-up set with 205 another set of five reps and then I did my first initial working set with 225 for five and in my mind I thought you know what I could probably increase but I just want to play just a little safe just to make sure I know for a fact that there won't be any grinding or missed reps so I actually I stuck with 225 for a three by five with the Penley row and it felt pretty good. It really didn't start to get difficult until the last, very last two reps, which is good. It, that tells me that I probably could have done 225, 235, 245 like I did with the reverse grip. But I'm happy with doing a double overhand grip and hitting those kinds of numbers because that says a couple things for me. One, I'm getting back in the groove. But two, if I can even remotely match my pronated grip with my supinated grip that's always a good thing so we'll see where that co where that goes from here on out and then I also did a wild ca card exercise I did a seated row I couldn't tell you the last time I did a seated row I did a simple set of eight with 50 pounds and then a three working sets of eight with 70 pounds and that was the workout <laughs> all right everyone I'm gonna take tomorrow off have a good one and remember adopt don't shop.